For better or worse, debts are a common part of American life. And in order for many people to reach certain life milestones, like buying a house or going to college, debt often becomes a part of the equation. Schools First Federal Credit Union offers services and tools to help people find opportunities to reduce debts and monthly bill payments. And Schools First Branch Manager Kelly Rotman joins us now for Financial Wellness Wednesdays to share tips and techniques on how to take inventory of your current debt and ways to save money. Hello, Kelly. Hi, Aubrey. Thank you for having me today. You know, debt, we all don't like it, but a lot of us have it. Talk about taking inventory of your debt, because that sounds like a really interesting concept. And what exactly do you mean by that? Yeah, so when we talk about taking inventory, we're simply saying take a look at all of your loans, not just your mortgage. You know, when rates go down, people typically tend to look at their mortgage, which makes sense. It's their largest debt. However, there's other loans to keep in mind, such as your car loan, your personal loan, your credit cards, and your department store cards. So what we're asking people to do is just take inventory of all of your loans to determine if there's the opportunity to refinance to a lower rate, or could there be an opportunity to consolidate several of your loans or credit cards into one loan or single monthly payment. That's a good point. I think a lot of people don't really think about refinancing loans like auto loans. That's right. You know, in fact, refinancing your auto loan to reduce your payment really could be a smart move. With cars priced in the tens of thousands of dollars, this type of refinance can sometimes lead to some really big savings. Yeah, and everybody wants to save money. That sounds good. So what tips do you have for people who may want to refinance one of their loans and start saving? Yeah, so there's some things to consider before making that final decision about refinancing your loans. You're going to want to check your current rate to make sure that's going to save you money. That's going to be your first thing. Then you're going to want to research the possibility of extending the term of your loan. You can lower your monthly payment by extending your term, but before you do that, you need to consider if lowering that payment really makes sense. Sometimes you can end up paying more in overall interest because you're making those payments for a longer time. Next, you're going to want to see if there's any loan fees. If there's loan application fees, prepayment penalties, or other fees built into the loan, you may wanna make sure that these fees don't eliminate that savings benefit that you're gonna receive from that lower interest rate. And the last thing is the time before payoff. If you have a five-year auto loan and you have less than a year before it's paid off, it's not likely gonna be beneficial for you to refinance that loan because you're so close to paying it off. Those are all great points. The other thing you mentioned are credit cards and consolidating. A lot of us have more than one. So how do you know when it's time to consolidate? So if you're paying a high interest rate on any of your credit cards, or if you have credit cards that you're only paying that minimum monthly payment on, those are factors that it could be a good time to consider consolidating. So some things that we suggest before you consolidate is look for a lower rate. You're gonna want that lower rate than what you currently have on your credit cards. You're gonna want a low or no annual fee, but if you do get a card that has an annual fee, you're just gonna to wanna to make sure that the benefits and the rewards of that card compensate for that fee that you're paying. And last, you're gonna to wanna to be mindful of balance transfer fees. At Schools First, we don't charge a balance transfer fee. However, many of our financial institutions, they do. And typically that fee is a percentage of that balance that you're transferring and those fees can really add up. So what you'll wanna do is you're gonna to wanna to calculate those fees versus that savings to make sure it's a good option. Really, the biggest thing to remember is taking inventory of your debt and making a small change can really help set you up for financial success. And I'm glad you pointed it out because those fees can really add up so you do need to pay attention. Now, if someone's ready to get started, they're like, okay, She's convinced me maybe I need to take inventory and, and consolidate or refinance. Uh, what's the first step to getting started? So at Schools First, our loan professionals, they are happy to sit down with you to do an assessment of your debt. They can review your loans to see if there's opportunities to save money with a lower interest rate or a loan consolidation. And our team would really love to walk you through the process. Very good. Well, Kelly, it's been great chatting with you about, you know, Reducing that debt and saving money, that's something we all want to do. If you want to access more debt tips and other financial resources, you can visit schoolsfirstfcu.org. Coming up tomorrow.